fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to show you some really fun goodies that I got from GBFKE. So a big thank you to them for sending me the items and I can't wait to dive in. I've got some cute things and so yeah. So I've got two canvases. I'm going to set those aside and then I have this, you guys. It is a pin but it's supposed to be a light up pin. So let me see if I, oh, and there you go. I don't know if you got how well you guys can see that because I have my lights on, but you just click it and the light turns on and then it lights up all the way down to where you're placing the diamonds. And I just thought that was really cool. I don't know if it has a, I'm assuming it has a battery in it. Let me just take it apart and see. Oh, that's where the bulb is. I wonder if the battery's up here. You guys, I don't want to break this pin before I had a chance to use it. Oh yes, there's a battery right there. So, so you can replace the batteries. But I thought it was really cool to have a cool light up pin. Um, I actually had a really it was one of those that looked like a funky animal or something when I very first started diamond painting that came in a kit and I used it, but the battery ran out really quickly and there was no way to replace it. It was all just one solid piece. So there was nothing to open. So the fact that you can open this one and replace the battery is pretty cool. Not sure what kind of battery it is, but anyway, for someone with bad eyes like me, because I don't like to use the light board, um, that seems to cause a lot of strain on my eyes. Having something like this is a nice option for me. So uh, this was $2.50. And then, oh, that's not a uh, kit, but then we have this, you guys. This is such a cute little, it's a refrigerator. And, well, it looks like a refrigerator. It's not an actual refrigerator. But it's a pen holder. And it comes with these cute little stickers that you can put all over it. And then you stick your pins in there. And then let me just open the plastic here. I saw these and they had a bunch of different colors, but I got the teal because that's kind of the color I use for all of my, my stuff teal or some sort of blue. So you can stick pins in it. And then when you open it, it's got like, it holds this little thing, holds your pins in place. It's got a little slot here where you could put additional things if you wanted. And then it's got this little, so I just thought this was so cute to hold diamond painting pins. And then you get these free little stickers that you can put all over it that are very cute. Um, to go along with it. I don't know if I will use these. I probably will find some of my or make some of my own stickers to put on it, but you can put actual pins in it. You can put diamond painting pins. Um, I actually thought it would be good for diamond painting because I could put my diamond painting pins in here. I could put like some tweezers and things in here, and then you could put uh, wax, washi tape, glue dots, whatever in there. So yeah, I just thought it was super cute, you guys. Um, and they have a bunch of different colors. This is the one I got. This was $4.51. And I just thought it would be super cute for, you know, storing accessories. So, okay. Then let's get into this stuff. So this is diamond painting, but is one of those off the canvas items. Okay, so we get our kit, boat, plate of wax, pink pin. We do get some tweezers because it is a special kit. You guys, look, it's a flamingo bookmark. How cute is this? Now, the reason I got these, uh, I've done other bookmarks before, but for, for the most part, the bookmarks that I've done before, they're for decoration because you can't actually put them in a book because they don't lay flat and you'll mark up your book and I didn't want to do that one. 
or do that with the other ones. So when I saw these, now I got this one because it's a flamingo. Now its legs go down kind of further than I would like, but they did have some that just kind of had something at the top. One of my almost got was just like a little crown, but then the rest of this is so flat that you actually can put it in your book and use it as a bookmarker without worrying that the drills are going to damage your book. So little flamingo bookmarker. I thought that was so cute. And let's look at the drills here. Okay, so I have seven, nine colors, it looks like. Nine colors. Okay, so we've got, of course, very pretty pink rhinestones, some black, some dark purple. We've got some white round. We've got some larger clear round. We've got some very large purple round, some very large uh, pink marquee shaped, which is this number seven here. The big purple ones go right there. And then we've got some smaller round purple ones and some smaller berry um, round ones. So yeah, super cute. And another quick project. Um, that I think is, is a nice, useful off the canvas item. And that is $2.90. And they had a lot of different designs, so I thought they were really cute. And then these last two, I got, again, with an eye towards my 30 by 30 challenge in September. I'm gonna have to start worrying about that here soon because I don't, I don't think I need any more canvases. I'm gonna need to start getting busy. So, whoops, oh, plate of wax, pink pen. Again, we get some tweezers because it is a special drill kit. You can see the rhinestones there. And I just thought this one was really pretty. It reminds me of a Persian rug design. And I just thought it would be really pretty. And it's a, a full drill partial, I guess. That's kind of, a, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say a full drill partial. It's a full drill special drill. But even that, it's not really full drill. It is more of a partial. So this is 24 by 24. And it has a schematic on both sides, which is good. It has our DMC crystal codes along with those letter codes that indicate the special shape drills. It is nice and sticky. And let's look, we only have eight different drills. So let's see what they are. Okay, so we have some clear rhinestones. We have some very pretty deep turquoise rhinestones. And then we have two bags of kind of an off white, a bag of turquoise rhinestones. Ooh. So we have clear and red, those little bitty teardrop slivers. Definitely be getting out my pretty placer for those. And then we have some iridescent teardrop shape and we have some very pretty blue marquee shaped. So yeah, I think this one will be really pretty. Again, it reminded me of that kind of Persian rug design. So yeah, happy with that one. Oh, and this one was four dollars and fifty one cents and then the last one here pull this out these are both the last mandala and this one are on that very um, thin canvas that I like much better Okay, so our kit, standard kit, boat plate of wax pink pen. It is a special drill kit, again, as you can see. And this one is just kind of a very simple, fun design, but I liked it. And again, I needed some more partials for my challenge, so I got it. So this is 24 again by 24. This one has 10 different drills so more than the last one it is nice and sticky where it needs to be 
So, and again, we do have the DMC codes, although it looks like the crystal codes along with those letter codes for the special shape drills. So, so let's look at them, see what we get here. Okay, so we've got some very pretty pink rhinestones, some light turquoise, some blue, some orange, some black rhinestones, some yellow, some yellow marquee cut, some turquoise marquee cut, uh, some orange iridescent teardrop shape, and some pink iridescent teardrop shape. So this one kind of feels more southwest almost because of the kind of color scheme of it. But again, I was looking for some partials. When I'm doing that 30 by 30 challenge, I'm gonna need to do some partials for some of those quick wins in between all of the other partials I'm doing. So I thought this would be a good choice. And this one was $5.52. So again, just to recap, we've got this pretty mandala. We've got the Persian rug looking mandala. We've got our flamingo bookmark. We've got our light up pen and we have our adorable little storage fridge. So yeah, uh, a pretty nice haul if I do say so myself. So again, a big thank you to the folks over at GBFKE for sending the items to me. Uh, as usual, I will put links in the description box down below so that you guys can go check all of these items out uh, or anything else that might grab your eye while you're there. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.